Hi guys, what's up? It's Alex here. Today we are here with the next episode of MotoGP 2015. And you can see we're on the grid here in Jerez for the next round of the season. So we're starting at the back of the grid. That is sort of the, the point of the series to fight through the pack and then try and get to the front of the grid. So seeing the first corner here, we've gained a couple of positions up to 22nd position. Now looking down the inside of Bautista, Baz, Laverty and somebody else as well. And Hayden as well. Somehow we managed to get past him as well. Now looking to the inside of uh, Miller. Don't quite manage to do that. Then we make a slight mistake here. We're going to run on the grass with a slight, slight mistake there. We're, we're full throttling it and we decide that's a good time to use the flashback. So a flashback into somewhere where we can hopefully not go straight into the gravel. So that's exactly what we do. We manage to get back on. Lose a couple of positions then on the brakes really late. Get past a couple of people once again. Back into 17th position. Now down the inside of Miller. Side by side stuff. But we should have him just in a straight line. Both the same. Uh, well both Hondas. But obviously very different Hondas with Miller not being uh, as good a rider. Not getting as good a bike. So... We're up into 12th position now, we're really gaining the positions on the first lap of the race. Can't quite get down the inside of a Spargo there on that first uh, well, first opportunity, but we're looking for the second opportunity. It's a bit of contact, and we managed to just squeeze through and move in to 11th position now, 10th place, 9th place. This Honda is really good, not going to lie. It's a really good bike, so we're easily getting up the positions here. So now we're inside the top 10, which is nice. We're ahead of Reading, who's currently sitting in that 10th position, but... Obviously, we want to close down the front guys. The front guys are the ones that we're battling within this championship. We make a slight mistake there. Two people get past. I think that was Redding and Smith here. We're going to look to the outside here. So they're kind of blocking the inside line. So we can look around the outside here. There's somebody front going over the uh, sort of fake grass on the outside over the curb. Lost in quite a few uh, positions there. But luckily for us, we don't really lose too much for doing the same sort of thing. But Redding and Smith both make contact there. They get a bit sideways and they really slow each other down there in the middle of the corner. So for, for us, it means that we gain both of those positions back that we lost, obviously, through making a mistake. But we make the same mistake as the first lap here. Are we going to lose those positions? Yes, we are once again. Down to 11th place. But then once again on the brakes back into ninth place and then a, a slight mistake going all over the grass it doesn't really gain us any time but a bit annoying lost as a well lost a bit of a run down the straight I suppose you could say going across the grass they're obviously not intentional it loses me time so definitely not trying to gain an advantage out of that so here we are we have got one and a half laps to go in this race here can we gain any further positions well it's looking kind of unlikely at this point here the guys in front have pulled away so for me, it's, it's going to be tough to gain any more positions than you know, ninth position could be the best position I finish here. So, around the some of the, the last corners on the track, and there's about five corners left on this track before we get to the start-finish line to start the last lap of this race. Cal Crux is 1.2 seconds ahead of me. It's definitely possible to try and catch up to him, so maybe we could get better than ninth position here, but we'll see. So, down to the final corner, late on the brakes here, we're really closing in. A mistake on my part, turning into the corner way too early, slightly cutting across the grass, but not gaining any time. So as we head up to the start-finish line, we are currently in ninth position, just over a second behind Cal Crutchlow in eighth position now. But there's an accident. Somebody's down. Oh, no, that's not what we wanted whatsoever. We've crashed into someone's bike there that was just in the middle of the track. Looks like it was Ianone, so that's put us down to, well, we put us down to at 17th, 18th. We've gained a couple of positions through being a bit later on the brakes, but that is a disaster and exactly what we didn't need there. I could not avoid that, really. If I jammed on the brakes, the same thing would have happened. I still would have hit the bike, so it was really hard to tell where that bike was going to go, whether it was going to just stay there or was it going to fly to the other side of the track, so I didn't know. I thought... What they always seem to say is sort of you drive to the accident. That makes any sense because eventually that bike will move. But maybe I was a bit too close to really uh, use that saying. But who's that really wide there? Iannone, I think it was again. And Iannone fell off his bike and then he's running all over the gravel. We're slowly getting the positions back here. We could actually get back into ninth position here. It uh, wouldn't be too bad. There's two bikes here just in front of us. Oh, sorry, it's three bikes I didn't quite see. Um, it's that Bradley Smith there. So actually we could be in 8th position, which if we finished in 8th position I wouldn't mind, because I didn't think we were going to get any better. Obviously we've got Iannone crashing, who was in 8th uh, like position at the time. I mean we were in ninth and saying we couldn't get any better, so if we finished 8th place here, obviously that is pretty good. So around the final corner here, late on the brakes, slight contact with Scott Renning, I was trying my best 
to try and gain a position here, but we've made a slight mistake around the final court, uh, corner there and up to the start-finish line, and we grab, was that 10th position there? It was, wasn't even Pancheja, I think it was 10th position there. Not a great result, but you'll definitely take it considering the circumstances there. Yeah, that was 10th position, so... That's it, guys. Thank you for watching this next episode of MotoGP 2015 on the channel. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in next time, about a week's time for more. Thanks for watching. It's been Goodbye.